So welcome to this video. This is a quick tutorial letting you know how to transfer your data from an SD card to a bigger SD card and that could be 8 till 16, 16 to 32, whatever it is you want to do because there's no hard and fast method out there to do it. This is just how I figured out the best way to do it is. To do that what you basically need is a few things. You need your original SD card, you need a new bigger SD card, beware of cheap knockoff and ripoff and forgeries, and you need a couple of programs. Now the way I do it, I use Putty and I use Win32 Disk Imager. So just to show you what I mean at the moment, we're gonna we're gonna use Putty to log into my SD card that I've got actually on my Raspberry Pi at the moment. So there's tutorials out there, and I'm going to be doing one soon how to use Putty. But Putty basically is a terminal on your computer, on your home network, so you can dial into the Raspberry Pi that you've got up and running at the moment. To do that, you need your IP address. So I'm going to type the one in that I've got at the moment. Uh, 0.129 and then the uh, password there's the sign in details are always the login ID is pi with the password as raspberry unless you change it which I haven't in this instance and that's me logged into my raspberry pi and in turn the SD card that I want to enlarge or make bigger so to find out how much space you've actually got on your SD card or how many you've actually used you just use this code in here it's df space dash h all lowercase press enter and just here you'll see here it's a 15 gig card because it's a 16 gig but there's other bits and bobs on there as well so 15 gig in total i've used 7.8 gig and i've got available 6 gig now this just happens to be my led marquee sd card that i want to enlarge because i want to put some more video files on there and we know how much that they can uh that they can fill up a memory card quite quickly so i've got i'm going to move up into a 32 gigabyte card so at the moment like i say we've got 15 gig so we've used 7.8 we've got available six i need more than that because i've used 57 percent of it and to do that i need to do a couple of things so first things first i need to go and get my sd card out of my raspberry pi after shutting it down and then we'll move on from there so the second thing that we need to do is to make a copy of the original SD card that we've got. So you'll notice in front of the screen now I've got a program called Win32 Disk Imager 1.0 open up, which is what we need. Uh, so it's pretty simple to set up and get going. So what we need to do is choose a device. Now you need to make sure that when you put the SD card in, you you find out what drive number it's been allocated. So in my instance, it's been allocated H. Now, when you put your SD card in for the first time, don't worry if you get error messages. Don't worry if you get... Uh, there's an error with this device message because that's just normal because it's a non-standard uh, file system that the Raspberry Pi uses. We just want to tell the computer where to find the image. So we're going to do it on H. We are going to find a place to save the image. So in my instance, I'm going to save it on the desktop. So just click the desktop and we're going to type in an, an, an image file name. So we're going to type in marquee image, okay? And then click open. Now what that recognizes is it, it knows that we want to make a backup of this 16 gigabyte card. So when we click read here, it is going to create an image on the file. And it's going to take, because it's a 16 gig card, depending on process and speed, it's going to take about eight or nine minutes to do. So I'm going to click read. Uh, I'm going to let it do its thing. And then I'm going to come back when it's done. And I'm going to show you what we need to do next. So that's all been done it's successfully written as our image file and you can see it just on uh, the screen just on front of us there so what we need to do now is we need to transfer that onto our 32 gig card that we've got so again take your original sd card out bob your new sd card in you'll probably get the same array of messages and all that kind of stuff saying what do you want to do with this ah i'm windows i'm confused but don't worry you don't need to do anything else with it literally just bob it in the machine you don't need to format it with it because this program's going to do everything that you need so we're going to select H again because that's a device that we want to be writing our card to but this time the image file that we're going to go to we're going to actually select our image now it knows that this time we've uh, it's an actual live image and it's given us another option here to write so literally as it says on the tin we're going to press that write button it's going to go on its merry way and write it to this to this memory card now again this could take 5 10 15 20 minutes depends how quick your computer is depends on the transfer rate and the sd card that you've got so we'll click write we'll let it do what it needs to do and we'll come back when it's been done Beep. 
So that error message that you've seen popping up there was because I had the right protect tab on the SD card. So there you go. Let that be a warning to you. Make sure the right protect card on the uh, the right protect notch on your SD card is in the right section. Otherwise, it won't work. But as you can see, it's quite happily right into the memory card now. Uh, it takes, it's going to take about 21, 22 minutes, depending on uh, what else I'm doing at the time. So we'll just stop and then we'll come back when it's done. So when we get that bell, we know that the write has been successful. So all we need to do is uh, eject that safely out of the computer. And then we're going to go and put that back into the uh, Raspberry Pi that we've got and see what happens. So I've put the SD card back into the Raspberry Pi and let that reboot. And it's uh, running quite nicely there, as it should do, because it's basically just a, a copy of the... Uh, of the original card so the card's fine so it's run away quite nicely so we need to check if that's worked so we need to go back to putty again so we open up putty and again because nothing's actually changed with the settings the actual ip address and everything's going to be the same so 192.168.0.129 with the same password and then when that logs in we use the same code as before df-h and oh dear we still have a 15 gig card in there but with 7.8 gig used and six again so it doesn't appear to have happened well if you think about it it's going to do that because you've just basically copied exactly the same card from one to another so it still thinks it's a 16 gig card we've got to tell the sd card and the raspberry pi to use the other 32 gig of that card and this is how we do it now this is why i like using putty because it's so easy to use however you can do this next step by plugging a keyboard into your directly into your raspberry pi usb using a combination of alt and f4 i think it is something like that to log into the command prompt but i like doing it from this it just makes life a lot easier so you need to type in this code you need to type in sudo raspy dash config so that's all okay so that's sudo Raspi config and press enter and that loads up the configuration menu now in this you need to go down to number seven configure advanced settings and then you need to go into number one a1 expand file system now this is going to tell the sd card and the raspberry pi that to look open up that extra 60 gig of memory so we're going to press ok it's going to do a load of things now this could take some time so we'll just fast forward this bit and i'll come back when it's finished there we go that's that done so it's all been done allegedly so we'll press ok we're going to tab down to finish would you like to reboot so we've got to reboot the pie now so that's going to boot us out of putty when that works because obviously we're rebooting it so it's just rebooting and then when the raspberry pi reboots again i'll log back into putty and then we'll go from there so the new raspberry pi is rebooted again uh, sorry the new card's rebooted so we're going to open up putty again and again, type in the same details. That's 192.168.0.129. Type in the pi raspberry. And then when it logs up, we're going to type in that uh, disk, that command again to see the disk space. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, this has worked. So df dash h. And there you go. So now it knows we've got, it's opened up a 30 gig, 32 gig card. 7.8 gigs used and we've now got available 21 gig so you can see how this has got its massive advantages because you've basically i've basically now just copied my old card my old 16 gig card overlaid it on the 32 gig card and opened up all that extra space so i've actually used this a few times for my uh, raspberry pi that's running uh, emulation station and and uh, and uh RetroPie because obviously the, the more systems you put on there i've gone from a 16 gig card up to 125 so it's kind of you see how it's going to work but that's how easy it is uh, i found there wasn't any instructions out there showing me how to do this so there it is step by step how to transfer all your files onto a bigger sd card for raspberry pi retro pi and emulation station if there's anything else that you'd like me to run through when it comes to things like modded arcade machines or something like that drop a link in the comments however thank you very much for watching i hope you found this informative and i will see you next time on noob game reviews